Rings Nature Reserve. Uh, I've been looking for a spot to paint and this one looks interesting. I've got access here with a car nearby. The view I want to take is the one looking up the stream, the dike here and the dike there, taking them both into account. At the moment there's still a lot of mist and the sun's coming through, it's burning it off, but I want a rich blue reflection in the water, although it's rather nice now with the mistiness. Um, make a start. It's just beginning to burn off so hopefully in an hour or so don't make the drawing done and get started. I'll be able to get some more colour going in. Beautiful as it is now. As you can see it's gorgeous even, just even now just with the mist. But I'm hoping when the sun comes out it's going to be absolutely glorious to be spot. Now, as an artist unlike with the camera and some move things around I'm able to put in what I want how I want so if I get this up to here I can try and take all of that into there um, by, by compressing it in. Uh, which a camera lens couldn't do unless it was fisheye lens. I'm going to have to lean over the fence here and see if I can work out my drawing at this angle. It's not easy. I've got a basic composition now. There's a big old tree on the left coming up here. One dike coming out there, one dike coming around here, foreground here, rushes here. Let's see if we can get this in. There's a lovely light at the moment, but it's a golden light because it's just the sun's coming through, so it'll change as I go on. I need to get canvas covered. One of the problems is I've got sun coming through the back of the canvas, but we'll see how we go. Let's make a start then. I've got my palette set up below me and water ready and everything. Let's see what we can do. It's uh, not too warm, but I don't think I need a jacket today. Let's uh, so can start off with the sky, but I can't really because I need the sun to go up a bit more yet, but uh, I'll make a start anyway. So the very muted colours at the moment with the sun, the mist and the fog. Let's we'll see how far we get. A lovely golden light at the moment. So I'm going to take some yellow ochre and white and just start to cover canvas. I can put colour over obviously with acrylic so I can change this totally later if I wish. I will do I'm sure. Let that colour come right through these trees here. I can still see through the paint to the flooring underneath. But, uh, it was so lovely. I came out here the other day just for a walk. First fresh air I've had for ages. I don't get, can't get out much at the moment. And I can't walk that far so uh, Somewhere like this is ideal, and I, I was looking for sites to paint, and this one came up, and I thought, oh yes, I must come back and do this one. It's rather lovely. I'm just going to try and find some colour in it then. What got me the other day was this very bright blue sky, which is why I wanted to do today. I didn't think it was going to be, because the forecast was the cloud, but in fact it's not just that at all. And uh, just this fog, uh, mist coming up, and uh, I've got a chance to do something. Anyway, let's get this covered. Hopefully the sun will move around and I'll be alright. And the sky is going to be happening down in the water as well. So let's start to... Oh, that's working. It comes out here. Out there. Let's see. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself yet because I know that... Uh, this scene's going to change as, I, as the sun comes up. Got a spare battery with me as I might need today. I don't know how long it takes me. But... Just 
a look at that first. A little bit of ultramarine and some of the yellow ochre, and we'll just get a kind of greeny tint going on back here to start with. Not easy with the sunshine through the back of my canvas. A little bit of uh, yellow ochre and Prussian blue now. Just mark up this background just a bit. There's trees here. A bit lighter on the edge of that in a moment. There's a lot more colour going on than I'm getting yet, that's for sure. I'm working fairly tonally at the moment, so I'm fairly, painting fairly mute colours at the moment as I work up these morning greys before I'm trying to get the sunshine in. I've got to be very rapid. My hand's cold, I know that already. Once I can get base coats on, you really start to see the colours and pull them out. The tones at the moment are I'm working. Nice morning for it. I hope so. My hand's a bit cold, but uh, yeah, yeah, man. I was just trying to zoom in with my uh, phone to get a photo, and I could barely do it. There's two golden eye right down there. Yeah. Backgrounds at the moment. Pinks and yellows coming through here and here. At least the weather's nice enough today that I can stay a bit longer. It's just the changing light that's going to be the biggest uh, problem. Catch up we can as fast as we can. So many different so many varieties of so many wonderful colours here today. I think we've got to work on to better put them there. We need, we need these colours to dry though. Light still shining through the back of the canvas, and until it stops, I shan't be able to really show you. But to really see these colours, I have to keep looking around the fence post to see what I'm doing. a brush really to work this out faster. Green legs going over. The colour's really getting much stronger as the light comes up. Uh, I've got to keep up with that. Now oh, I'll to work on some of these purple, purple blues. All the colours in the foreground. Some very dark colours going on down here. And so once I get the surface covered, if the paint starts to dry, I can really shift this painting and get some beautiful things happening. I'm going to go back in here with some much lighter colours over the top of some of these darker ones. Uh, we're near, near done with some of these trees. As it gets lighter behind, so these trees are going to also stand out more. I 
beautiful golden light. There's a crossing of branches down here that are standing against the water. Got to get those into the water and also bring the water into them as it goes on. Any old colour colouring almost, as you might think, but just to get it to put it of the white and then establish lights and darks and warms and cools and start looking at the variations of these wonderful lights that are shining through. It's getting lighter and lighter and lighter, so I'm going to be changing my colours constantly. i mix some more of this light yellow ochre with the sky that I've missed out here altogether. A little more blue in here in a minute anyway. That's coming right through into this now. The sun's still shining through my canvas which does not help at all. So I'm doing right round on this side, but we'll see if we get there. Green's going in just a moment. Much, much warmer. Take some, um, and some crimson. And warm the whole area here up. The feeling of old brambles and tree roots and all sorts happening in the shadows. Put the lights in afterwards. crossing of shadowed areas here. Still not able to see very well because of the sunlight shining through. Plants have been cut here and trimmed up before I come in with much, much uh, darker colours. This is just my intermediate painting. So I'm working up from my mediums down to my darks gradually here. If you wonder what I'm doing. And then, um, that log comes right through down to there. Some lovely dark greens happening amongst it. our lights against our darks and I want to put some more blues in yet so I haven't even got those in. I'm waiting on the sun coming around a bit more actually what I'm doing. Hello. Hi. Hi. Get a bit of sunshine while it lasts. I've to get some fresh air. I've only been out about three or four times. I've Hi. painted twice in the snow and, and uh, I seem to be getting a bit of cabin fever now. I think most people are. Oh it's just getting too much isn't it? Yeah. The light's changing so fast and I've got to get things covered. Which, uh... You're making a good job, it looks like. Well, thanks. Great. Yeah. But Thank this, you. This film would be up. I've got a YouTube channel with over a thousand films on and teaching one. And, uh, oh, right, yeah. So you can see it, you'll be able to see it on there later if you yeah. want. Right. So you're uh, filming as, as you're doing it? Yes. Yeah, great. Just edit all that later and people, you know, they enjoy it. It's, it, it takes the painting a stage further and that people can share it. Yes. You know? <laughs> you suddenly find you've not got the camera on something stupid or you've had your shoulder in front of it all the... <laughs> <laughs> That's right. 
Well, it's hard, enough, pa to hard enough painting, never mind. <laughs> painting I need the light to come around more onto the canvas. That's what I'm, I'm stuck with at the moment, is the light is oh, I see, yeah. coming right. through the canvas. And until I can see what I'm doing, I've got, the blues are now coming up. And I want to whip those blues in on top. And all of these lovely golds and pinks. I can't really start my colour until it's just, just starting to dry up a bit now. At least I can map it out. We'll let you get on with it. Thanks, you. Bye-bye, <laughs> then. See you yeah. later. all these lovely goals here now. You start to get the sunlight happening into the water here, into the reeds and the sunlight coming down over there. Right, I'm going to have a go at these light blues which I want to get in to start with a lovely turquoise, a very light turquoise, and uh, see if I can really bring out these big colours now. So I'm starting with a very light turquoise here, see how that goes up here. It may be a bit too strong. Much more white and a little, a little yellow in there. Just a lovely light tint. A bit more yellow. There's a light pink in the background here. I'd say the paint just isn't drying as usual. And I'm just not getting not able to plaster over as I'd like to do. I get this horrible mud where I just touch it like that back to them. Such is plein air painting, plein air painting. Uh, bring these, these lovely cool colours. I've got to bring that colour right through this side as well. So totally changed. There's more pink over here actually. More pink going on. So that blue is coming into the branches here as well. Just things all together. And in the distance there is a little bit of pink. So I'm going to make some very, very light pink now. Very light pink. Just to come along the, to get the feeling of the um, distance here. It's much, much more lively. Again, broken colour and coming in with glow in the background. I can just start to play with pure colours now which is what I'm after. I'm using a little bit of opera rose actually. Uh, quite a bright pink. And now I've got to start bringing that quite strong turquoise down into the water as well here. It's quite green down there in places. A bit too strong. You can see why I was waiting now to get the right light before I put these in. It's quite strong and comes down actually much more into an ultramarine down here in places. Money. It's coming. <laughs> Chilly, but makes a change just to see since I came out yesterday for a walk and I saw the sunshine I thought whoa you know whole attitude change and mentality yeah. and I have to get out today and then the forecast said cloud said, no but then nope nope but we're all right and not only water in between the reeds but water coming down across the ripples in places so I'm going to start coming across here and the painting's just starting to take shape now Bits of light there in between the
Have a look if you want. <laughs> I didn't want to disturb no, the You're alright, I get involved in this and I'm, I'm alright. You're doing something I wish I could do. Of course you can, anybody can do it, just need a bit of help, that's all. My, uh, my art teacher. Do you know, I've heard so many bad stories about bad art teachers. Yeah. Uh, they say they, they ruin it. I had, I've got a, a, a friend in France, so I normally will be at this time, and her art teacher said to her, well, absolutely useless, you'll never be any good, give it up, don't, 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 don't ever bother. And, it, you know, it affected her for the rest of her days, right yeah. until a few years ago. And she came to me, she told me this story, and I said, well, you can paint, you'll need a good teacher. And, you know, it used to come into almost everything, all of her conversation, her insecurity that that, that one bad teacher had given her. Yeah. And I, I gave her a couple of lessons, and she started turning out work, changed personality. Oh, that, that childhood that was ruined by that one stupid teacher who didn't just didn't know a thing about art and couldn't do it herself. And you can, all you need is somebody to help you. Yeah. If you want to do it, you can do it. Anybody can. It just needs a good teacher. Uh, as long as you've got hand-to-eye coordination and I mean my stepson is special needs. Mm -hmm. And I mean he's he's um, you know, barely spell or write or read. But he's turning out some wonderful artwork. He's gonna have an exhibition next year with me. Wow. You know, um, I, I taught for 28 years and I brought people through with all sorts of disabilities, learning disabilities and things. Mm -hmm. and it's, we've all got something we can do, but no, art is something everybody can do. It, it just takes a good teacher to get you there. I, I don't remember many of the other reports, sort of comments at the end of the year. But, but that one you remember, yeah. was uh, Brian tries hard but has no ability. <laughs> I thought, well, that kind of says it all then. Well, you just don't do I mean, I, when I do a, an assessment, if I get uh, invited to do a, an art society, you know, if I get invited to do, um, judge their exhibitions or look at their work, or mm -hmm. I never do what they call a crit. I do what we call a positive assessment. Right. I look at everybody's work, however bad it might be, yes. if there's a bad, yeah. and I find the good things in it to give them confidence. And then I'll say, but in my opinion, which is all it is, because somebody else think differently to me, yeah. I say, you can improve it by this or that, or the mount or the frame, or the, the fact yeah. you put something in afterwards and it doesn't fit, you know. Um, the, the teaching is to do with confidence, isn't it? You know, you've got to, you've got to give somebody confidence. And if you're not going to do that, well... It's the same with photography. I mean, oh, I've, yeah. I've, well, from being sort of six, seven, eight year old, we went on a school trip. Dad used to, uh, morning. morning, give me his camera and say, you know, take some pictures. Um, oh, it's good. I can't have enough. Like you, I, I live with the camera. I hardly, I'm hardly ever, ever go out without the camera because another, another meaning to life. No, I've, I've always got one with me, irrespective of where I am. It's. Uh, it's something that you just never know what's going to turn up. That's right. Well, I will leave you in peace. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you good. for yours. Oh, got to pull the muscle out. Ah, uh, <laughs> you so unfit now. Oh. Right. That's, that's one of the, the great things of having mature years. I think. <laughs> you take care. Bye bye then. in with a little bit of light colour because I can't quite get the neatness I want of that. And uh, it goes behind there and then we've got two, two towers. It comes up and through behind there. Just refine those slightly later. 
Umber Bridge behind. I don't think it's really necessary, but I just fancy doing it if it carries on. Right up to there, off the back behind here as well. Ooh, my colour's here in a minute too. I've got to get this uh, going now. white again, we'll mix into our white. If we don't mix into the white we end up with the gamma remember so we need to mix into it. We'll take some cadmium yellow deep. Mix in with that. The greeny. We'll just start to bring some of those highlights down here. Golden colour coming down into these bits here. We've got some really nice, strong bits of sunlight catching the light here, which is so important. It will bring it out from the background. And suddenly we've got sunlight coming on things. And they start painting sunlight, start painting with light. This is what I was saying to you in another video a while ago about um, painting with paint and painting with light, that when we're coming to something like this we'll actually feel like we're painting with light rather than with paint because we're, the light bits we're putting on are so effective. And now I'm coming towards my lights. I've gone up to my darks, or down to my darks, and I'm just really bringing out the highlights now of things. Very good. Thanks. Just just starting to enjoy it now and get into it. It's a bit cold early this morning. But I <laughs> thought it would have been, absolutely, yes. And I was out in the snow painting some in the blizzards a few weeks ago. Good I, did, I did three in the snow, which was lovely, and took some nice photographs. Dedication for you. Oh, well, I'm going mad stuck indoors. I'm well, honest. that's it, I mean, yes. I, I live in France in summer and here in winters, and normally I go over in April to France. Well, I spend all winter hoisting out in the studio doing um, cafe scenes and things. Yes. Um, but this year, with being so long, I mean, I just... <laughs> I've done a series of 30 um, cafe scenes and about 15, 20 plus on the others. Yeah. Um, but I mean, if you want to see this one when it's finished and film it and it's up, and take a Oh, time. fabulous. Yeah. Great, thank you. It's a whole website you. and YouTube site and everything, so you might find what to do locally thank interesting. Mm, a bit more green on the tree just to bring the sunlight out. Oh, all right. Well, there's Rebecca, a swan it looks there. like the brown with the white tail. You know, We've the... seen a deer before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, that's what you mean. <coughs> Could be. <laughs> Come on, Ed. It's amazing painting, by the way. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Come, we've not seen you down here before. We're here most weekends. I came down yesterday and I thought, oh, the sunshine, you know, I thought, well, I've got to come back. And, and then it was showing a forecast of awful for um, a deer in the middle there. We've just been talking. The family here. And we'll come back to our painting. Look at these eyes. It's beautiful. How long is it taking you to do that then? Oh, about three hours now. Long for me. <laughs> it's long for me, three hours. It's done then. Bye bye. It's good to see you. Bye. I said yeah. Bye bye. So there we are. I think we've about done, you know. These odd bits of colour here and there, just little bits to pick up and colour against warm and so on. The blue's gone much deeper down there now. Let's have a look at that.
Well, that's a lot of fun. I enjoyed that and needed that. I really did. I put some other finishing off now then. It's a good hobby that, isn't it? It keeps me sane. I mean, I've been stuck indoors all I'm winter. Sure it does. I mean, normally. Well, there we are. That was a a lovely day's painting. I've had about four to five hours here. Yeah, normally take two to three hours, but a bit more longer on this one. It's given me a chance to get it finished. So uh, happy with that.